Ciao everyone! Today we are diving into how to use AI the proper way to automate customer sales. I want to do a huge statement. Chatbots are shit. And I do believe this. I've been going around the Silicon Valley with a t-shirt saying chatbots are shit. Let me share with you a video so my name is Nathan at Founder Pat. People always tell me you have to use chatbots. They're wonderful. They're great. These things are like terrible. I see the little icon on the bottom right and I say I'm not touching that thing. It's disgusting. <laughs> I'm going to say something. It's going to give me a prompt that has nothing to do with me. I'm not going to click any of the buttons or I'm going to talk to some robot that doesn't ask me to answer my question. Just give me a human, please. The feedback that we collected from people like Nathan where first of all they don't understand simple questions that's not the ideal solution for companies rather than the user experience they function like gatekeeper for human team as you heard from Nathan basically is asking every single time pass me a human team they create loops so you know when you're sharing with the chatbot uh, your issue and uh, it's not covered by the company structure of the chatbot and basically it's asking the same thing again and again, they can't understand the whole context. So in the end, they are not very helpful for your team and your customers for sure. We wanted to fix this shit, so please meet Aura. Aura is your new AI assistant. First of all, it understands simple and complex questions. It's not a gatekeeper for a human, it escalates automatically. It will never create loops. Aura always understands the whole context. She actually helps humans. Are you ready to see some real world use cases? First of all, I want to share with you what's the knowledge it has to understand the context. So this is our app center. Let's try this out with some inquiries that are coming through our chat. So this is an actual question that is coming to our uh, inboxes. Now, as you can see, Aura is typing because it's actually searching for a solution in the app center and is gathering that information. It's also trying to understand if it matches any intent we might have, uh, which is not. So it's going to take care of this question automatically. Here we go. That was great. Actually, this is one of the questions, a follow-up question, uh, whenever someone is installing the WordPress live chat. So it's great that um, he shared also this piece of information. So this is what your customer sees, but what you see, as you can see over here, there is Aura. Aura is an inbox, like it's a teammate of yours, okay? And you will see every single conversation she's handling. Over here, you will get all the open conversation, and she will also be able to close conversation whenever someone is um, happy with the response. And here, what you see is where she gathered the information from. So if you click here, you will see exactly the source she took the information from. The user got an issue, okay? So they set up the customer live chat and they want to install the app center under their domain. Let's see, this is like a DNS issue uh, that sometimes might happen when our customer um, are not properly setting up their DNS, so I'm curious to see how that will respond. This is a completely different topic because before it was installing the live chat on, on WordPress and now like I'm trying to get help to install the app center under the domain. Let's see. Wow. <laughs> It's perfect. Yeah, so a lot of people will have issue by setting up this. Um, so they somehow mistakenly put into the target something completely different. So this is actually the solution they uh, need to have. But this is like a step to step and it's, and it's also empathetic with them. I'm sorry to hear that you're having trouble with your certificate. Let's try to resolve this. 
here are the steps you should follow this is just is just amazing you know something that happened after this they will need to wait 20 30 minutes or much much more if the dns is not propagating properly you see this is it might be a propagation issue and can take up to 24 hours if the issue persists after 24 hours please let me know um, so we can investigate for it. That's great, that's a perfect response. Now let's assume this is still not working and the user is complaining about this. Cool, so it, it understood the sentiment analysis uh, and uh, it understand that the customer has an issue that is still persisting. Now what uh, I can say yes please and what is going to happen? Magically, the Aura assistant is assigning this to the support team. And as you can see, um, Aura added an escalation reason for your team. And so now the team can read the whole thing and that would be it. So I wanted to show you how you can set up a specific mission and uh, how that will work out. So as I said before, you can create intents to let Aura identify those intents and treat them separately in another way. So the only thing you have to do is to, when you, when you create an intent, is to describe it. So for example, we found this will be just for you, but then the description is going to be useful to the AI to understand the intent. Okay, and also the examples are very, very important. The examples give us a way to understand the context, something like that. It's not just an if and then, it's more intelligent than that. It's not just the usual traditional chatbot. This is uh, ChatGPT based, so it's going to be much, much more powerful to understand the intent of the user. So now that we identify the intents, what Aura is going to do is triggering this new chat flow for handling the refund. And the AI mission is going to be handling this uh, mission. So what you need to do in order to train your AI based on your processes, this is the only thing you should do. So you can train our mission as you would train a customer support rep on how to handle a refund. You actually type down what it should do and what kind of information it should collect. And this information can be stored into either a conversation property or a user property. Let me show you how this will work. So here we're going to store the month the invoice email and also the amount of the refund requested. That will be it to set up your mission. Um, now the mission we have on trial, uh, I'm not sure it's going to ask the why, I'm sure it's asking everything else. Now let's start a new conversation and the user now wants the refund. Aura is trying to understand if it's an intent or a software case and now we'll stop for a sec. Now it identified the intent, the specific intent, and it passed it to the mission. So now the mission starts with the context. So if you remember, we asked uh, the mission to collect the month, okay? And now it's going to ask for whichever information still need to be shared. So to help you with the refund, could you please provide me with the email address we sent the invoice to and the amount of the invoice. Now again, I shared the month on the first message and now I'm sharing only the amount. I'm still missing the email address. Um, now that's a requirement because you can put your conversational properties as a required or not. Now, could you please share with me the address to which we sent the invoice? Sure, Luca and customerly Dalaya. Cool. So let's see how that went on your team. Again, Aura, at the very end, it was supposed to assign it to the support team, which she did. And this is the conversation. 
Quickly, you can understand which month, the amount, and the invoice in. The support rep does all the information without asking that to the user. Also, in your chat flow, you're capable of passing these properties to another service. So let's say you want to pass all the collected information to your backend to see if the user is eligible for a refund and then send the response tweaked with another mission to the user saying, okay, we accepted it, uh, you will find the refund in five, seven days, business days on your uh, bank account. So this is so powerful and will shape completely how your support will be handled. This can handle very complex stuff, which will need a back and forth between the, the support team and the user. So it's capable of understanding the context at every single stage and it's capable of uh, handling very complex situations. So let's cover a bit the escalation reason. You saw before that in that case Aura escalated automatically because she understood that the user sentiment analysis was not that good and so it asked if the user wanted to connect with the, the team but actually she did it even before the customer asked for that because she felt that was the right thing to do. There are other reasons why uh, she can escalate automatically. This kind of question is not covered uh, within any of our AppSender articles. It might be covered with some articles, some ads, but she had a low confidence score. Every time Aura is finding an answer, is basically getting also a score of confidence. And she, if she is not confident enough, that will trigger an escalation to your team with a low comp. This is another reason why Aura might escalate. So the escalation reason was missing information. And it also predicted a message that might work or we might need to trigger it out. So again, you can copy and paste this, trick it a little bit. So let me show you how here, whenever there is a missing information, you can easily train the AI to make it work the next time. So if this is a specific knowledge you don't want to share publicly, you can click here, add a kind of response and um, flag this, use for AI training, and that will work automatically for you. Otherwise, if let's say this kind of uh, response was good enough to create an AppCenter article, you can click here, create AppCenter article, Based on the question, based on the response the team shared with you, this is the draft you can create easily and you can add in any collection. So you can open the editor and this will be um, the draft that you can publish. Whenever you publish a new article, it's going to automatically form and train your uh, AI for the next response. Aura, from there on, is going to be capable of handling this kind of question that was a missing information. What if the AI makes mistakes? So I've got asked this question quite often and uh, the answer is always the same. It depends on how you want to treat that kind of question. If it's like a troubleshooting, it's a product related issue, um, you would definitely go and add another candid response or help center. That way the AI is going to be capable the next time to better understand the issue and answer the proper way. Otherwise you can create intents. Consider it like a, a support rep that just joined your team. You need to train it a bit. You need to tweak it a bit, but everything can be improved and the best way to improve it is to create either more app center articles, kind of responses or specific intents. Another question I've got is how accurate is AI in Agile queries? Again, this is completely up to the quality of the content you provide to us through the app center or kind of response. The better they are, the better are going to be the responses and the more accurate they will be. Great, so how can you start today? Reach us out through the chat and uh, we can create a tailored demo on your documentation so you can try this out 
with your setup, with your knowledge base, and with your actual customer supporting queries. I'm super excited of what is coming and how AI is shaping finally in a great way the customer support automation. Thank you so much. Ciao.